Jace Tunnel. Today I found something very interesting and it actually took me a little bit of searching. I had to get on my phone and check out to see what it was. I'm not sure how close up you can see this thing, but this is a metal cylinder. But the interesting about this metal cylinder is if you look at the top or if you look at the bottom, there is no um, connection for to like get any kind of fluid in it, any kind of gas, anything like that. Uh, it does say top on it with an arrow pointing up, like the direction it is right here. Uh, it has a number on there uh, for a company called Magtech, and it's like a 1-800 number. Uh, maybe if you find it or if you want to buy another one of these. And, and then it has a serial number, model number, max PSI, and then uh, some other number on here, minimum SG. But anyway, I ended up somehow finding out what this thing was uh, by doing a little search on my phone. And this is a magnetic level gauge float. You might not know what that is. I didn't know what it was, but it goes inside of one of those um, uh, clear gauges that tells you how much water level is in a big tank. So you look at the, the oil tanks or big water tanks or any kind of tank that holds like fluid in it and it's got a gauge on the side to tell you how much is in there. Um, th this is what it looks like. And so this thing goes up and down and then there's typically flaps on the inside of that gauge that um, turn orange or any kind of, I guess, color to indicate what the level is as the fluid on the inside goes up or down. So I thought this was pretty interesting. At first I thought it was some sort of bomb type thing, but nope, just the inside of uh, one of these gauges that tells water level. So anyway, you never know what you're gonna find on the beach. That's it for Beachcombing this week. We'll talk to you later. Bye.